In the commercial payments space, there's absolutely been a push towards moving payments towards commercial card, which is great um, from a payer perspective because there's some economics there that are beneficial to the payer. Um, but that, on the other side, someone's receiving that payment and creates yet another incoming payment stream that they have to figure out how to reconcile, how to make sure they get the data about the payment into their backend system so they can close the receivable, et cetera. So that's just an example of the movement on one side maybe help cause or exacerbate a pain point on the other side. So now we have to try to look for a way to solve for that. We don't just do reconciliation, we've got carbon actions, we do the, um, the, the, tr the treasury confirmations, um, we do the collateral management, the cash management. Well, a great example um, is the reconciliations where clients don't really care if we, if we can do auto match rates of 98, 99%. Uh, they care about the remaining one or two percent because that's where their work effort is. Okay, the AI sits above that and it's monitoring that one or two percent to understand well what are people doing with that one or two percent, uh, and then it starts you know reducing those numbers as well. So we've been bringing in that the AI from the innovation lab, bringing it into managed services, and basically our clients then benefit because they see fewer exceptions flowing back into their organisation. And I'm happy because it's actually reduced the amount of manual effort on my side as well. So part of what's going to um, come with real-time payments is the ability to do a request for payment. So the idea that the, the person that is owed the money can send out a request to the person that owes the money and the, um, the person that needs to make the payment can see that request and action it. And all of the data about the payment, about the payment request and the payment itself, flows with the with the payment request and the payment. So not only are you you know changing fundamentally changing the way say for example a corporate could collect from their um, their customers whether it's businesses or consumers but you're changing the way the data flows and that the ability to do that could really change the game um, or really sort of revolutionize how collections are done in the US. Our customers need to get paid but as importantly, they need to be able to handle the information about that payment. And request for payment is a great example as part of real-time payments of trying to use technology and use data uh, more smartly and more efficiently. The changes in the sector, uh, changes in technology, it, it's all mo moving us in a direction that's quote, super dynamic. A lot of interesting parts, uh, banking requirements are changing, regulatory requirements are changing, technology is changing. It it's really feels like a perfect storm uh, with so many moving parts and it's pushing us as a fintech to look at new ways we can serve the industry. So looking at, uh, we're active on digital payments now, we have uh, new reconciliation solutions coming up in the pipeline, addressing cloud, cloud uh, environments. So. We are, we are out there. There's a lot of new things happening and uh, it's exciting time. So from a payments perspective, the landscape is changing so quickly and it's all great stuff in terms of, you know, modernizing the payment experience for our clients. Um, but you have to really be cognizant of the end to end um, effect on on your client base when when the when new opportunities get introduced. <laughs>